एक्स्ट्रा टाइम दो घंटे में डिलीवरी विशु स्पीडी रिकवरी कोई भी दवा अब नहीं करो मिस दवाई चाहिए ए सैप तो बस ए अपोलो ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन डिलीवर करे आपकी पूरी प्रिस्क्रिप्शन सिर्फ दो घंटों में a pretty rough week at lords really and, and a lot an awful lot has gone right this week. yeah i think it was a very clinical performance um i thought took advantage of the conditions on day 1 i thought we bowled exceptionally well and it was almost a perfect storm everything seemed to to fall our way um just perfect little nicks to the keeper um it got us off to a great start as a brilliant bowling performance found the length very early on this wicket i exploited it very well and then that partnership to set things up the opening partnership i think was um it was almost a turning point in the game for me um to to have such a substantial first partnership was was exceptional and credit to two, those two lads um you now under the pump uh, after the back of last week to come out and and perform like that and get as um 135 for for non was was brilliant so um it really set the game up gave the opportunity for for the rest of us to go and make that big first inning score that me and silvers harp on to you guys about all of the time um and um you know the the hard work that we put in yesterday i think we reaped our rewards today um you know, we we held the game really well we it was quite attritional but uh, going at you know around two and a half and over we knew that when that second new ball came round we were going to create opportunities again and credit to any they played very well they did they made it very difficult for us as some really good batting yesterday in in bowler friendly conditions um but for us to be able to start as we did today three maidens um build pressure again and then you know we were we, we actually were clinical with our catching which was a nice change as well um took some some good ca- good catches good chances and um you know sat here now one all with with uh, a big smiley dressing room and um two two big games ahead of us we know you've um, had to had to wait a little while since chennai to to get past vorney in that in that list of wins um can you tell us what that means to you given you know the result it's a, it's at home in front of a big crowd against a really really classy opposition a uh, bit of adversity as well with the injuries you know how much are you enjoying leading this team at the moment you seem to be living every moment and every drs and every wicket <laughs> well I'm, I'm as i mentioned before the game I'm living my boy a dream I'm captain in England um something that dreamt of doing from being really small um got a great group a great group of players who are very talented uh, d- they're dedicated to to becoming better all of the time and um you know as as frustrating as the last you know period has been for us we we have had to deal with some some difficulties um so it showed huge character to to be able to come back and put in a performance like that off the back of the way uh, last week turned out so or the last game turned out so you no know, can't be more proud of them um obviously proud to to have gone past michael but you don't do that on your own as a captain that's down to the the group of players the, the players that you you've got um around you and and the coaching staff as well they it's all one big thing you're just the, the um you're one making the decisions but that they're the ones that are going out there time and time again putting in big performances and um you know really proud of the the way they managed to do that this to, this week And, and just lastly, can you, in your captaincy, it's been a long time now, but uh, can you imagine or, or picture another player who's come into the team since you've been captain and sort of settled quite so smoothly into Test cricket as Ollie Robinson? Well, um, can't know off the top of my head, really, um, but it, it's it's been phenomenal to watch him perform as he has done. Um, you know the. the test matches he's played he's had a big influence on all of them and and he's um you know to to bowl like that throughout this game but you know it's we we he's been around the squad for for a little while now and we've known how skillful he is and almost the question mark was would he be able to back it up in his third spell and his when the ball's been a little bit older and he showed a huge amount of skill in in be able to to do that time and time again throughout this series in back to back games and you know with big workloads under his belt and um you know he's just shown what he's capable of doing and the long way that continue so yeah, yeah as we just said you can pass um, michael for now and living your boyhood dream as you say do you plan doing the job for a few more years yeah 
I've um, not put a time limit on it. Um, you know, as long as I'm enjoying it, and as I said, feel like uh, I'm the right person to take this team forward, then you know, I'll I'll keep. You know, that'll be my my focus. Is as long as we feel like we're moving in the right direction, we're trying to do the right things, um, and I'm the right man for it in my own mind. Then, um, you know, I'm more than happy to 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 keep doing what what we are as we are. Sounds like you're. Love of the job and enthusiasm for the job is, is stronger than ever. Yeah, I mean, as I say, it's been a very challenging uh, little period th- throughout my tenure as captain. There's been a lot to contend with, a lot around the games. Um, not necessarily all full focus has been on the field, but you know that's part and parcel of the job. And like I say, we've got a, a, a great um, a great group with strong character that have been able to bounce back off of a difficult defeat. And you know, when you've got players to work with that are like that, it does uh, make things easier. Um, and you know, I've been blessed with some some wonderful senior players to to lean on and, and a brilliant coaching staff as well. So, you know, long may that continue. And you know, hopefully we can take this this performance and this confidence forward now for the, for the last two games. It should be a, a belting end to the series. Uh, Joe, on a similar note, Mark Wood's been bowling today. Is, is he... A realistic shot for the Oval, do you think? Again, um, I, it'd be nice to see how that's gone today. Uh, I saw him doing it as I was doing the press outside, saw him bowling and seeing the guys stood back quite quite deep with the the mitt on taking the catches. So that's always a nice sign when fast bowlers got the uh, the keeper stood miles back, especially Woody. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that, that turns out over the next couple of days. And Again, it, it's always nice when you see guys coming back from injury um, and hopefully that those that have been mentioned uh, are available and we've, um, you know, we've, we've got a few more resources to, to work with and some big decisions to make. And pre- presumably with the, with the schedule as it is, it's a, it's a big bonus to have got things wrapped up quite so efficiently today and not have to use tomorrow, obviously. Yeah, it's it's been as you say, it's been fortunate, and and obviously um, from a bowling point of view, the guys that have played their workloads haven't been as big as they were, you know, on the previous previous couple of test matches. So that first innings was was an absolute brucey in that regard, um, keeping them fresh for this innings, but also for um, for the rest of the series as well. Yeah, Joe, congratulations on the new record as captain. You said that it's uh, down to the players perhaps rather than your um, strategic uh, brain power. Um, has any player more of an influence than James Anderson? He's taken more wickets than anyone else under you. He's been a, a huge part of um, Strauss and Cook's reign as captain. Uh, are you lucky that you've managed to squeeze quite so much out of him uh, for yourself as well? Yeah, I'm, I feel like hugely privileged to have Jimmy and, and Stuart throughout my time captain to have players at disposal has been it's been exceptional. Um be a bit cheeky and say that you look at the both of their records, I think that they probably performed best under my leadership. So I'm gonna take a little bit of credit for for how good they've been in recent times as well. Um you know, making them ball a little bit fuller um and and you know creating a few more chances. So it has been been great to 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 get the most out of them and, and long may that continue. And when you have such a turnaround from Lords to here, does it kind of reset in your mind what this team now is kind of capable of as things start to kind of fall into place? Yeah, I, I, I've always known what we're capable of doing. And everyone in this group has shown at times that um, they're good enough to perform and, and to deliver performances like that collectively. One thing we need to keep getting better at is being more consistent and doing it time, time again. Um, and that's a great template for us to work from. You know, as a batting group, we made that big first inning score. As a bowling group, we were relentless in the areas that we bowled. Um, we found the length on this wicket that we needed to early on and then we carried it forward. We passed spells on, um, worked as a partnership. And that, that's the sort of thing that over time we need to just keep doing more and more of and, and just getting better at making those those big partnerships in particular with the bat that, that get you in, in really strong positions. Um, and it, 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 now we've done it once a series, there's no reason why we can't you know, take this forward and say, you know what, we've shown that we can we can stand up to these guys in our own way, do it in our own, our own manner as a side um, and really put them back under pressure. And um, we've got a great opportunity now with two games to go to, to do just that. 
you said a couple of times we want to do it in our way is that a less overtly aggressive way is that what it means because you haven't quite explained what your way is I think there's different ways to be aggressive I thought we were really aggressive with the ball in hand throughout this whole test match um, you know, and I, I just think that that's, that's how we get the best out of our, our players is um, in not necessarily getting in a, a verbal confrontation but going out and delivering time and time again um, you know, and, and shows when we do it well it works and we, you know, we, we we end up sat here with a, a emphatic win. So, um, you know, long may that continue. So, hopefully, we can repeat this performance. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.